Okay, we're back. So we're solving uh, two simple equations. So that's a review from last year. Uh, so again, have our variable that we want to get by itself. I can line that up better. Okay, but this time you notice we have plus five and we also have times three. So we want to get rid of both of those. So technically the order that you do that doesn't matter. But the simplest way will always be to get rid of the plus or minus first. So if I want to get rid of positive 5, I'm going to do, make sure I get my marker, minus 5. If I do that on the left side, I have to do it on the right side as well. So these 5s will cancel out. Bring everything else down. So negative 3p equals 32 minus 5 is 27. Okay. Then we can get rid of this times negative 3. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 3 would be to divide by negative 3. Again, these will cancel. So p equals 27 divided by negative 3 is negative 9. Okay, here's our answer. Same as with one step, we can go back. We can substitute this value into the original equation just to make sure it's right. So we can say negative 3 times negative 9 uh, plus 5, we want to know, does that equal 32? So negative 3 times negative 9 is positive 27. 27 plus 5 is 32. This checks out. Okay. The reason at the beginning why I said the order doesn't really matter is we could start by dividing by negative 3, but you have to divide every term in the equation by negative 3. And since 32 and 5 don't divide evenly by 3, but these questions are designed in such a way that whatever we divide by will give us a nice integer value. That's why we almost always, 100% of the time, or 99.9% .9 of the time, say get rid of the plus or minus first. Okay? It's just simpler to think of it that way. All right, let's try one more. So negative 3 minus 5b equals 32. So we want to get in this variable by itself. So we want to get rid of this minus 3 first. So I'm going to add 3 and make sure. Make sure when you're trying to decide what else do I need to add this to, notice how this one is on the left-hand side of the equal sign. So we need to add 3 to something on the right side of the equal sign. So it's got to be this plus 3. Okay. Also notice that we took this one because it's not being multiplied by the variable. We know that's the one that's being added and subtracted. So even though this says minus 5, since it's minus 5d, that's really a multiplication. Okay, we want to get rid of this that's all by itself. All right, so these cancel. Bring the rest down. So minus 5 times d equals 32 plus 3 is 35. And let's keep the same color. So let's go green. So to get rid of negative 5 times d, we do the opposite, which is to divide by negative 5. So divide by negative 5 here. These cancel. We get d equals negative 7. Okay, that looks good. Let's double check just to be sure. Uh, so what do we got? So we have negative 3 minus 5 times negative 7 equals 32. So we just substituted that value back into the original equation. So this is 35 because a negative times a negative is positive. So does negative 3 plus 35 equal 32? Yes, it does. Okay, that's two-step equations. So get rid of the plus or minus first, get rid of the multiplying and dividing, and I'll tell you on this one, it's all multiplication. So that second step is always going to be to divide by whatever is being multiplied by variable in the equation. Okay, if you have trouble, send me a message on Canvas. Otherwise, good luck.